Hi Vanner Fanner family. So this video is the last gift of videos of Arizona because the box is no longer available. Um, so I want to thank Miss E for this awesome gift of Nelly's all natural laundry soap. It's biodegradable, non-toxic, hypoallergenic, gluten-free, no SLS or SLES, no GMOs, and septic safe. 50 loads. 50 loads. And it's got a little cartoon on the back and the instructions and everything. So I am going to, if I can find this on Amazon, I'll put it in the Crystal Vanner affiliate store. So if you want to get yourself one, you can. And uh, I appreciate you guys using that affiliate link. Some of you are using it. Um, if you use it just to get on Amazon, even if you don't buy anything in my store, just navigating through Amazon through my affiliate link helps me get a few pennies. It doesn't charge you anything. But if you're going to be shopping on Amazon anyway, might as well, right? This next gift is very personal to me. And I just want to give a little um, <clears throat> background story. So it's from Miss um, V, a different Miss V. Um, Miss Victoria, I'm just going to, I've said her name before in video and I think she's okay with it. Anyway, so Victoria. So I met Victoria last year in Mississippi, I believe. Yes, Mississippi at a beautiful museum. We had a great time at this museum and um, I, we have been in touch ever since. She is my go-to person for natural remedies of things and different oils and combinations of oils and uh, when I was sick with MRSA, she called to Lake Havasu and she said, um, found a actual health food place to see if they had Manuka honey, which helps your antibiotics in your body. It helps the antibiotics work better. She bought, and it's not cheap, guys. She bought it, paid for it over the phone, told me to go pick it up at my convenience, and probiotics, which are also not cheap. So um, she's done a lot for me. We're in communication through email, text message occasionally. She comments on pretty much every video and um, just has become a really good friend to me um, over this past year. So her mother passed away and she was going through her things and she found, she found frogs and thought of me. So I guess her mom was also a frog collector. So these are some um, pins that you would wear. So the one is a little ballerina frog. And I don't know if you're going to be able to see that because I feel like that light is going to, there we go. So that's a little ballerina frog, and it's a pin. And this is just a regular frog. And they're both silver, which of course you know silver is my thing. So I, I feel really honored that she would send me these going through her mom's things and said she said she thought of me. And wanted to get them to me before I left um, Arizona. So I feel really, really special, Victoria, that you would do that. And really honored. And I will wear these with honor. Uh, be it on a head wrap. Or on my clothes. Or um, on my um, purse um, strap. Something. I will wear them with honor. And I just want to thank you, my dear friend, for giving me such a personal such a um, thoughtful gift so tomorrow we are heading out we are leaving this part of Arizona that we've been camped at for a very long time <laughs> um, I settled my bill with the mobile mechanic that's here in camp I got an oil change today and found out that I need a new battery so son if you're watching I have decided to let you give me a combination gift, Mother's Day birthday gift, of a new battery when I get back to Virginia. <laughs> I hope you're watching this video. <laughs> but um, 
I usually don't like combo gifts because I don't my birthday is really close to Mother's Day. It's usually either falls on Mother's Day, you know, it's it's right in that realm of Mother's Day. So I don't really like combo gifts because those are the only two things that I celebrate. So I want two gifts. It's like I don't celebrate Christmas. I don't celebrate Easter. I don't celebrate, you know, Thanksgiving or any of those other things. Like I want my two gifts. So anyway, but um, we're leaving tomorrow at nine in the morning. We're trying to go near some water because it's hot like it's still like 87 88 degrees and it's like nine at night so it is hot here so we are going to go to a place that's near water that we were told about but we're not sure how the cell signal is so if we don't get any cell service there we probably won't stay there we may just do one day and then the next day we'll move on to somewhere else um, and we'll stay there till May 1st. I've decided to push the trip up even earlier. I was going to wait till the 6th or the 7th, but I've got enough gas money, I'm sure, to get me started on the first leg of the trip. So May 1st is when we're going to leave Arizona and start heading east. So if there are free things a hundred percent on our route we may stop here and there i will take some pictures um you know how you have those little scenic route pull-offs we'll pull off and i'll take pictures and make videos so you'll still be getting videos every day while i'm traveling but because i have a little bit of a four or five days of um videos already scheduled to come up you won't see some of those videos probably until may even though we'll be on the road you won't see some of those probably till like um, May 7th or something like that 6th or 7th is when you'll start seeing the traveling even though we've probably been traveling for a week you won't see those travel videos but just know that I'll be on the road soon and um, just again thank you guys for understanding that I can't do the meetups that I wanted to do that it's just not feasible these gas prices are killing us already just filling up my tank um, for this trip just here in Arizona it cost me $77 and my tank wasn't even a hundred percent empty I'm gonna put the picture of it over here and I'm moving over to give myself room <laughs> but I'm gonna put the picture of it over here because I want you to see that my gas tank I thought it was a 25 gallon gas tank clearly it is not because it wasn't even on E and I put over 25 gallons worth of gas in it. So I think it's a 30 or 32 gallon gas tank. So I'm just like shocked that my gas tank is that big. Um, so yeah, that my pocketbook's screaming right now and crying for all that gas money. Um, it is what it is. Hoping we find some cheap gas as we travel east here and there. And can fill up um, cheaper as we're traveling. You just never know. Gas prices vary state to state, town to town. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's Daily Dose. Thank you for watching. And don't forget, go over to Patreon for a dollar a month. You can get extra content and you can learn how to access the podcast. I love you guys so much. See you tomorrow.